This is an introduction to the body talk cortices. It is the most simple technique that anybody can do, whether you are an adult, a child, anytime you feel that your brain is frazzled and you feel that something needs resetting a little help, whether that's before you start your day in the morning, at the end of the day, at night, or basically, it may be just when you're switching from work to home life, before you jump on your horse for sports, whatever it may be. So doing the body talk cortices, how to actually do it. The whole aim is that we are going to be linking, creating an improved connection, improved communication and information flow between the left and right hemispheres of the brain. We can do this simply by creating a bridge, and I'm going to turn around here to show, starting at the base of the occiput, the base of the skull, the big bump at the back of your head, and you're here creating a left-right connection so that all the nerve pathways and all the information flowing can be optimized when everything has got frazzled. Everything is activated by waking the brain up by simple tapping, first on the head, which in essence, in even children's language, is basically, hey brain, wake up. Is, anything, is everything flowing the way it should? Can anything be changed? So this basically wakes your brain up to reevaluate how well it's working. And of course, if it isn't working so well, we're always striving to get ourselves back to homeostasis. So immediately an improved balance comes in. A couple of nice deep breaths in and out. And we also want to save the information, and we do this at the heart. This is where we know who we are. So we alternate between the brain, wake up, improve the communication, and tapping over the heart, click save in computer language, or store the information. What we want to do then is systematically cover the whole brain. So we now want to move our hands up to the next area. And what is key when you do this is that you're actually focusing on what you're doing focuses on improved communication between the left and right hemispheres of the brain. Activating with the tapping and storing the new changes and systematically going right through the head till you get to your eyebrows. A couple of deep breaths is usually enough. And as you can see, you can tap on top of your hand. It's an energetic tapping and it's light as if you were tapping on a newborn baby's head. You can also see I'm wearing glasses and I've chosen not to take them off because you can very often just work around these things or even put your hand just above. In the end of the day, it's all about your focus. The hands are touching to help bring attention to the link between left and right hemispheres. And finally, we come to the last step across the midline here, still linking left and right. Now our focus goes to this part of the brain. A very busy part of our brains. And there's no right or wrong as in how your hands go. Sometimes they go faster, sometimes they stay on the head a bit longer, on the heart a bit longer. Just go with it. Now we've covered the whole midline. What's missing is the sides. And here we're placing a hand just across the temporal lobe, which really just cups over the top of the ears from the temples and straight back, really. And again, we want to tap. So unless you're very flexible and you can lift the leg up in the yoga position, which is my joke, of course, you need to take one of your hands off and start the tapping. Now you need to imagine that hand is still there in your mind. This is why we start with two hands, so you get the imprint, and then releasing one, doesn't matter which, but still in your mind, having both hands connecting left and right side. And that is it. You have successfully done a quarters as balance, and without the talking that I do for the introduction, it can often just take a minute to run through it, or you can take longer, take deeper breath, and just really enjoy having your brain reset and enjoy the feeling afterwards.